Alright, so here's some fun information about vintage lawn boy ignition coils. So these are not the types that uh, work with condenser points. They're known as solid state electronic ignition. However, the thing is that the older style ones, which are the white ones like this, are ground to run, which means that when you have the switch in the on position, the contact is closed and this pin on the back of the coil is grounded to the case of the motor and that will allow spark to be induced through the coil. The later models were ungrounded to run so when you'd have the switch in the on position it would disconnect this tab on the coil from the ground and allow a spark to be induced. So this is something that can drive you absolutely crazy if you're troubleshooting these old machines and trying to figure out what's going on. I found this really old document here online. I'll drop a link uh, in, the, in the notes below to where you can find it. And it really goes through and explains how these things work. And it tells you this information right here. So anytime you're dealing with these white ones, uh, that's pretty much what you have. Now you can go ahead and throw in the other coil, the only thing is your switch is going to be backwards. So what I'm probably going to do is just grind off the on-off and redo it with my soldering iron so that whoever gets the machine isn't too confused. So apparently you still can order the correct part number for it and this is a Toro or Stenz part number which is 100 2949. You can see it is not the cheapest thing to get and they've changed the design very slightly, but you can see that it is indeed that white one there that's ground to run. Apparently, this is going off the information that I find online. So the other one is the 12948, which is exactly the same thing but in gray, and this is the one that's said to be ungrounded to run. So of course we could head on to the Big Rock Candy Mountain and pick up one for a fraction of the cost. I have actually used these before and they do work uh, just as good. However, this is going to be the ungrounded to run, so then the switch is going to be backwards. Now, they do make two styles of these, which you have to be aware of. Um, you have this one over here, and you can see that the shape of it is one way. And then they make this guy here, and you can see that the shape of the uh, armature there is slightly different. So just one more thing that you have to be mindful of and pay attention to when you're ordering your coil. So I hope this information helps you save some headaches, as it did me. And if you have any questions or more information to add, please leave a comment below.